you actually know that nutrition makes a difference, possibly because you've experienced that difference yourself or with a loved one or a family member, yet you just can't figure out the best direction to take. Is it integrative nutrition or functional nutrition or holistic nutrition or therapeutic nutrition? I get it. It can be so confusing to choose the best next steps for your education and for your practice advancement. I'm Andrea Nakayama, and this is my Functional Nutrition Counseling for Clinicians channel. And today, we're gonna look at those different terms to help you understand your next best steps to get the education you've been looking for. Let's start with the term integrative. In the 1990s, the term integrative medicine was coined as physicians recognized that their practices were true but partial. And what that means is they recognized that sometimes they needed to turn to different modalities to give their patients the results that they needed. The term integrative medicine was defined as the practice of medicine that reaffirms the importance of the relationship between practitioner and patient, focuses on the whole person, is informed by evidence and makes use of all the appropriate therapeutic approaches, healthcare professionals, and disciplines to achieve optimal health and healing. That sounds really good, right? And it is. Integrative medicine is a system that's designed to recognize the entire person, the whole body, and what it takes to actually help a patient feel better. When it comes to the difference between integrative medicine and integrative nutrition, we're taking those same principles, but we're applying them to different modalities of care. So medical intervention versus nutrition intervention. So even though I'm a huge fan of integrative nutrition, I consider myself a functional practitioner. Why? Well, in my opinion, functional medicine and functional nutrition take integrative practices up a notch. We should all be practicing with an integrative approach. That means we recognize that sometimes we have to embrace different modalities. Like I said, we may need to rely on a massage therapist or a chiropractor or an acupuncturist or yoga therapy or meditation. That's an integrative practice. That means we integrate different modalities. But how about a functional practice? And can a functional practice be integrative as well? The answer is yes. And now we're gonna explore why. Functional medicine is a modality of care that was also coined in the 1990s by Dr. Jeffrey Bland. And it's getting more and more attention of late, and we have to consider why. Let's look at the definition of functional medicine. Functional medicine is said to better address the healthcare needs of the 21st century by shifting the traditional disease-centered focus of medical practice to a more patient-centered approach, addressing the whole person, not just an isolated set of symptoms, listening to the patient's histories, and looking at the interactions among genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors that can influence long-term health and complex chronic diseases. Okay, can you see the similarities between integrative and functional? In both situations, we're looking to address the entire person. In an integrative approach, I like to think about it as the modalities that are external to the individual, whereas in a functional practice, we're looking at the different things that are going on in the individual that influence their outcomes, not just what they do, but where they came from. Those genetics, those antecedents as we call them, things like, how were you born? Were you breastfed? Where were you born? What are the events in your life that led you to this point in time? And how do we look at any sign, symptom, or diagnosis as a tipping point that's occurred because of myriad factors? In other words, two people with the same diagnosis got there for different reasons. So in a 
functional approach, we're not just looking at the food on the plate or the interventions that we do. We're looking at the whole person, everything that got them to this point in time. And in an integrative approach, we're looking at how do I embrace the modalities that I believe in without the bias that they are the only modalities for care. So a functional practice can be integrative in that it integrates different modalities. And functional nutrition, again, it's more than just the food on the plate. It's about who are you? Why are you eating the way you're eating? What is your history? What is necessary for you to do in order to finally feel better? It's not about dietary theory because that same theory may not work for two individuals who have the same diagnosis. Let's break that apart just a little bit so we can look at things through a functional lens before we talk about holistic and therapeutic. So if we're looking at somebody who's looking to lose weight through, let's say, a ketogenic diet, we need to consider who they are and what they're looking to achieve. And that means we need to look at how their body functions. Looking through a functional lens means we bring the body into its optimal function. So if we know a ketogenic diet is higher in fat, lower in carbohydrates, what is true for that individual? Let's say that individual doesn't have a gallbladder or they have small intestinal issues, both of which impact fat digestion. Will the theory of a ketogenic diet work for them? Likely not without some issues. Or let's say we're working with somebody who has sensitivities or allergies to eggs or uh, to dairy, and they're eating a traditional ketogenic diet that is high in both the consumption of eggs and dairy. How are they going to do on a ketogenic diet? Both of those individuals are going to have issues, even though they're looking to the external theory to try to help them. In functional nutrition, we embrace the truth of the individual, the person coming to see us without our bias of what we think works for everybody. We take the pause to really learn about them. And this is the importance of the functional nutrition matrix, which we will link on the video where you can see that taking a functional approach embraces everything about the individual. Again, remember, you can always look through an integrative lens to recognize I can help you within my modality of care, but I may need a helping hand from a partner who has a different modality of care. And that would be taking an integrative approach, right? I'm integrating different modalities, but I'm looking through a functional lens which embraces all the truth about my patient or client. So integrative, different modalities. Functional, how does the body function? A functional practice can embrace different modalities and be an integrative. What about holistic? Holistic is less of a term that was coined in relation to a process or modality, and it's more a general term to say we are looking at the whole person. So holistic is a term that we can all use, whether we buy into integrative approaches, functional approaches, or both. Both tend to be holistic in nature. So holistic is a term that is uh, less divisive and we can all use it. How about therapeutic? What is therapeutic nutrition? Well, I would say that all modalities can also be therapeutic because we are using diet and lifestyle to therapeutically help somebody to feel better, right? So therapeutic nutrition or nutrition therapy is using diet and lifestyle modification as one of the modalities that can help somebody to finally feel better.
So we have two terms that were coined in relation to uh, ways of practicing, integrative and functional. They were born in the 1990s and they were embracing certain ways of caring for the individual. And then we have two terms that are used more generally to talk about how we're working holistically, looking at the whole person and what we're doing. We're working with diet and lifestyle or nutrition therapeutically, meaning we're working with people to help them feel better. So four terms, and you can explore what those mean for you, which term really resonates for you. And what I encourage you to do is think about how you want to be studying nutrition, what you want to do with nutrition, and how you want to help people. If you want to use diet and lifestyle modification or food as medicine, you can say yes to working holistically with the whole person and therapeutically. Your next steps are to consider if you want to be integrative, meaning it's nutrition and, if you want to be functional, meaning it's about how the body functions and the physiology or biology and how do we bring each individual to their optimal function, or if you want them to be both. And remember, I like to say that a functional practice can also be integrative. Mine is, and I hope yours is. If you'd like to learn more about functional nutrition, I hope you'll get your hands on my field guide to functional nutrition, where we explore more terms and more concepts related to a functional nutrition practice. You can find the link on this video, and I look forward to further discussions with you on this channel.